point. Why the name of Marshall Cruz? I'm going to quote from a lump. He say, yo, happiness is beneficial for the body. But grief develops the powers of the mind. Seeing that happiness serves no other purpose but to make unhappiness possible. See, so if you have the mindset, say, yo, you always want to be happy. You always want to be in a good mood. And all them things, that you have the wrong mindset, yo. Men were strong and men will put themselves through grief, yo. When the, when the scriptures are, are, um, I describe your house in Isaiah 53, it says a man acquainted with grief, right? You have to acquaint yourself with loss, yo. So you get used to losing, you know get, get used to getting things cut out from your flesh, yo. Get used to hourly in our sorrow so that you're you, you, you not know, uh, you know, fearing no more. You know what it is, the more sorrowful the day, the closer your child to the most side. and you pray, you feel more connected to the most side. You feel more spiritually inclined and, and you're, you're more um, likely to do a, a breakdown or, or something like that, yo. So the more you put yourself in a mind frame then, it's the more you, you, um, you can you know, go through the suffering then, yo. And the more than the bother you. Right? When you're dwelling on the flesh, you have to feel the pain. When you feel the flesh, and Lord is alone, you don't know you know, feel it because you don't know, focus on it. The heart of the wise is in the house of mourning. But right. the heart of fools is in the house of mirth. Why is the heart of the wise in the house of mourning? Because the day will come when you're going to lose all you. The day will come when the streets are going to be lined with dead bodies. Right? Just like dung upon the streets. Right? right? The day will come when you're not going to find food. Gonna, people are going to think to eat them loved ones, you Seeing the women they were walk past now with, with them head held high, proud and everything else, half naked. They might be they might be put to death and raped, yo. Right? If them that have um, a, a strong man, which is a man of the Lord, to be um, a covered for them, yo. See, all them are, are, are gonna be put to death and raped, yo. See, the, the men them will walk about saying that them them, them tough and them big and them a gunman and all them things here. If the man if the man of the Lord, we abide by these precepts and walk in this fire as the actors read. They might be put to death as well, and they might be as women before they put to death. 
Right. right? So you better for your, your put your, 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 your mindset in the um, the house of the sorrowful yo. Right. Be being yourself in a sorrowful mindset already. So when the day comes, you don't come upon you and a weird. You know you're not already caught up in the fucking way I go on now. All of the hype, all of the party, the emotional crap. So when everything gets drawn from underneath you, you already let it go. You already arm yourself. Say, oh, never lose this, never lose this, never lose this. Um, Isaiah chapter 13, verse 7. Um, verse 6. Holy, for the day of the Lord is at hand. It shall come as a destruction from the Almighty. Therefore shall all hands faint, be faint, and every man's heart shall melt. Exactly. And many, many, um, we are in a pool and there's a reason about the, um, the next bubble we are coming now because a lot of people have been know, say, oh, there was an economic collapse in 2008 with the housing market, right? With the housing. Millions of homeless. Yeah. They left millions homeless, and the only reason why the American economy is still afloat after 2008 is because. Government bail out the big banks, but the next bubble we're, we're, we're ready to burst now, which is the derivatives bubble. It's impossible to bail it out because right now there's some exposure to the derivatives. But the world have right now is over 550 trillion dollars, and the net GDP for the, main, for the main economies in the world is 78 trillion, right? Much, much less than the exposure to the derivatives, yo. So when that bubble burst, there is no bailing out the box, yo. Right. Deutsche Bank alone have 70 something trillion dollar worth of debt in the form of derivatives, yo. And them GDP, the GDP in Germany, where the, where the bank is at, it is, is at the water, is 3.4 billion dollars, yo. So they, there is nowhere near to being able to bail out the banks, yo. So when this bubble burst, see, the economic collapse, I'm going to bring it back to the Stone Age, according to some economic um, analysts, yo. So when that day come, and the economy crumble out. See, within a couple of weeks, there will be no more, um, no more ships at the, at the, at the wharf, yo. See, no more ships to deliver food, right? Supermarkets are gonna be empty within a, a week or two after that. And then we have after that rioting. And within a few weeks after that, famine, right? No. Hello, 90% of our income from the ship. You never know that. How are you going to change it? What do you mean? How are you going to change it? We, on an individual level, need to realize that your self-sufficiency okay. is actually the way no problem. to warrant no problem. anything tangible. Let tell you, let tell you, story. See, where you're in the country, Grenada. No more Grenada. All right, in 1989, the president or the prime minister of Grenada was a wealthy man. And he decides to look here. He wants in country, it's a small country, you know, population about 100,000. He said, look here, I want a country to be self sufficient. So he buy up all of the land and he give it to the people to farm. And he said, we're going to stop import from the states. And for a while, it was very profitable. And the country thrived. And every other nation in the Caribbean, they look on and say, yo, we need to try this stuff. You know what? Um, America invade and can slaughter thousands of people. Oh, See? Because the thing is, you know, yeah, we, yeah, we, we don't have any standing yeah. army to do something like that. So you're suggesting yeah. that because the possibility lies that no, it's not the if you are so self-sufficient, then you might, not might, but then you're going to get invaded or something by America yeah. or the other. You will the be invaded. That maybe you, you will be invaded. Whole, so hold on, it's just because of that, then that means you're back down and go on side and and, and, and do everything you can do to get the ships to come, right? That's the thing is not. We need to have a, we need like if it's it radical, matter. it have to be radical. It, it can't matter. be halfway radical. It don't matter it if your mindset change. The action that we need to take don't within our power. No. Because the men that we put in another state here use force and do it. We don't so have force exactly. to take it out. Oh, you can't right. educate yourself out of the situation we're in. That's the thing you don't understand. Because the men were the men were put in another state here and them educate with. And then and create the economy where we are using. The education for what? Like, who, who are you? Who are you? All of us. Who are you? Well, we are Israelites. Okay. Like, 
you can't go happy radical. You've been radical, you have to go hunting. Yeah. Our power yeah. lies yeah. in your hour of our shame, your child. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Our power don't lie with ourselves. Yeah. Our power lies in our child. Yeah. God of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yeah. Our power don't lie with ourselves. See, you see, if, if we didn't have to go over to do anything, see, we would have come out of this a long time. You want to black wall street? What happened to black wall street? What is it like a dream? You see, when, when I, I'm what you ever want that side, what is happening? Yes? Come again? You have some people that side, what is happening, they're enlightened yeah. what is happening, right? Yeah. And then they say, yo, Candice, like a person who you as a jump. So you come with the truth, you know, or, yeah. or an aspect of the truth, right? Yeah. But then why are you not telling us to go further and say, yo, listen, you're, say, you're telling me that a paradigm shift is insufficient. But I can, I can ensure to you that if we have a unified paradigm shift, who the fuck was in power? Oh, yeah, power. Well, that's a, I'm not a minister. You know, have a military. All me arguing is not to take anybody as a power. So all I'm arguing is self-sufficient. No, all I'm arguing is self-sufficient. Self-sufficiency will stop the ones in power. They're not going to make that up. So what you do, though? So then there goes that, that man's not natural ability. It's my natural instinct. What do we do? So because what do we now, do? Alone, as a, what do we do as, as man? To our power? Alone, as man. As man, our instincts survive, right? Our well, yes. instincts survive, right? Yes. So me, they are the one right now, right? Yeah? Yeah. And me, I say, you are self-sufficient, you say. And because you over there, say, yo, if you are self-sufficient, I'm gonna die. When me, are, if you, because you self-sufficient, I'm gonna die. So me, I'm, you have to do everything in your power to not make me self-sufficient anymore. What am I supposed to do? Just because you think like that, I must just roll over and make, and nobody try to fight for the self-sufficient. You can fight and what you I'm want, but the thing is, it's not going to happen in this society. Why? 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 Because the one who has win power, I go keep me under. Why? Why? Because of that, I say we feel, I say we feel power. And you're if saying you there's, there's no way to break. There's no, this is going to break it. When the Lord come and deliver we, just like him deliver we from Egypt with, 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 with fire, seen, and with chariots, and with a holy power wonders, I saw him going to deliver we. Seen, we can't deliver ourselves.